Okay, here we're going to uncover another property about, and this is, um, we're going to show you two ways on how this actually works out in real life. So our question is 4 to the power of 6 divided by 4 to the power of 6. So if we were to do this normally without any knowledge of indices, 4 to the power of 6 means 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the power of 6 means 4 multiplied by itself 6 times. So that would be divided by 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That is what this expression means, if we were to write it out without any knowledge of indices. We could then apply our knowledge of cancelling down, or apply our knowledge of fractions. And know that this would cancel down, I'd be left with 1 on the top, 1 on the bottom, 1 divided by 1 is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. Because that's one way to do it. Or, we could use our knowledge of indices. So if we're dividing, we subtract. It's going to be 4 to the power of 6 take away 6. So 6 take away 6 is 0. So what we can do is we can claim that 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 1 we can say that 4 to the power of 0 is 1 because we've calculated these both valid and valid ways and we've got different answers. We can say more generally that anything, anything at all, a to the power of 0 is 1. 1 to the power of 0, 1. 3 to the power of 0, 1. 52.42 to the power of 0, 1. If we had something like this, 3 over 2x to the power of 0. 2x to the power of 0 is all in a bracket, which means this full thing is to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 3 over 1 is simply 3.